Camera, you good? All right, fire away, guys. All right, Nick. Um, is, is this the first time you can remember getting that many calls, uh, foul and shoot three point shot? Absolutely, definitely. Is there is there a trick there? Is there a technique to, get, to getting that call? Uh, I just shoot the same shot every time, and for some reason they keep running into me. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> were you noticing anything that they were trying to do? Were you taking more shots, thinking that you might you might get fouled? No, nah, I just shot the ball when I'm open. You know, teammates give me the ball, so I shoot. That's what I do. Did you see, or were you aware of the NAU coach Jack Murphy's kind of reaction? Thought that you were flopping a little bit, maybe. Yeah, he kept saying I was kicking my leg out, but, you know, if you ask anybody on our team in practice, that's how I shoot. It doesn't matter. You know, that's how I shoot. So if you know I shoot that way, stop running into me. <laughs> uh, Chad, did you, did, did you uh, feel the need to kind of come out hot like, like you did, you guys knowing that uh, Perrion was going to be out there with you? Um, a little bit, yeah. I mean, when Perrion's out, I mean, he's a big part of our offense, a big part of our team. So, I mean, I was happy I could fill, fill the void a little bit for our team a little bit there, so. You get to, you actually got to start with your brother. Obviously, the first time that's happened since high school. Probably, mm -hmm. what was that like? Oh, that's all. It was fun. Yeah, uh, first time, like you said, since high school. So, it, uh, it was fun actually. It was bring back good memories. So, hopefully, we can do a little bit more here too. Did Did you guys find out about Nate starting the same way on the road trip? Just saw the sheet. Yep, just through practice and noticing after Perrin was out, we had to regroup and uh, come together, and that's just what coach thought was best. Any Any texts from from the parents? When you go back to the locker room? Uh, I haven't looked at my phone yet, so you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Vic, with Perrion being out, and, and did you kind of take that upon yourself to have a bigger game and think about that much? No, nah, I just played the same game. You know, my teammates did a great job giving me the ball and position to score, and, you know, I just did what I can do to help the team win. You know, it's not, I mean, of course, Perrion being out hurts our team, you know, because we don't want to go to battle without a soldier, but. You know, I'm just playing my game. You know, teammates give me the ball. I do. I try to do what I can to, you know, help us win. When they cut it close at, at the end, how important was it to make sure you guys can give that that game up? Oh well, very important. I mean, when you're up 21 with four minutes left, you don't want to see the league, you know, go down to a close game in the closing minutes. But you know, it's just something we have to work on as a team. Go back to the drawing board and you know, come back stronger the next game. Vic, I know you mentioned before how much you, you kind of enjoy playing defense. Do the, the big blocks you had and that still there at the end kind of feel just as good when you're hot from three like that? Yeah, you know, I, I pride myself on defense. You know, I don't really like when I give up a, a layup or, you know, don't help a teammate out. So, you know, I just do my part to help us win. You know, I, if it's getting a block, it's getting a block. If it's getting a steal, it's getting a steal. It's the same thing, playing for my teammates. Have you ever had a game where you're fouled three times on the perimeter? No, it's the first time. Is it kind of a weird game? I kept, I mean, it was free free throws, you know. I can, I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. I'll yeah. take that. But what, 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 what did you kind of make of the, of the, things went so easy early and then kind of went easily wrong in the late going. Can you kind of describe what, what the game was like on the court? Um, I think we played a great game for 35 minutes and we kind of lost focus in the last minute. So, like I said, uh, we just got to have to get back to practice, you know, go through our press break or, you know, go through what we need to go through to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah, because they press most of the way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a lack of focus, you know. Just uh, us being a team, we got to come together and, you know, make sure that it won't happen again. But most importantly, we got the win at home, you know, our first Big Sky game. So. We're pretty happy with that. Uh, Chad, what's that like for you when you see one of your teammates like Vic just catch, catch fire? Like oh, that? man, we just want to give him the ball as much as we can. Uh, um, so that's pretty much what we're trying to do when we're out there. If he's hitting the ball like that, we've got to start to run some plays for him and try to keep it going. As a, as, a, as a shooter yourself, too, like when you get an open shot, you want to take it, too. So when you're both kind of shooting hot, how, do, how does the field go? I mean, it's whoever's open. I mean, Vic gave me a couple shots tonight where he kicked it out to me, and he could have taken it himself. So, I mean, just feed each other. If you work with each other, you get more shots. So, I mean, that's, Vic did a good job feeding me tonight. So, yeah, that? yeah, I think, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. You know, if it's harder to guard five players than it is to guard one. So, you know, if he's open, I tell him to shoot it every time. Even if somebody's in his face and their hands are down, shoot the ball because you're a shooter, you know. And it's good to see, you know, our team come together and, you know, put it together offensively and defensively. Chad, kind of cool. Both, both, uh, both you guys started 
you and your brother? Yeah, that was fun. Uh, it's just kind of like high school, like brought back some good memories, and you know, it was uh, it was good to see him be aggressive out there. He uh, he hadn't been shooting it very well, but he played well tonight, so it's good to see. Hopefully, it'll kickstart his uh, kickstart his game a little bit. What was it like for him uh, last year? The injury, obviously, he was going to play a lot, and then the injury. What was it like for him coming back this year, trying to work back from the injury, work back into the rotation? Yeah, you know, he he did a really good job with that. He he didn't get down. It would, it would be pretty easy to get down on yourself after you know you you felt like you were going to play because he played I think five or six games last year and he's playing about twenty something minutes. He was doing well, and he stayed he stayed positive. He got in the training room, got stuff, got all that rehab stuff. So he did a really j good job of just staying focused and seeing the bigger picture of it, not just one year. So I think he did a pretty good job of that. Is that something that maybe helped you too as a walk-on who was kind of a reserve? You see that kind of motivation? And, and for sure, for sure. Uh, when Nate Nate got hurt, you know, it was just like, you just got to take it as just as if you're regular redshirting, just say you didn't, because it was a 50-50 that year. He didn't know if, what he wanted to do, so you just had to take it as, say you just switched your decision earlier in the year, now it's the same thing. So yeah, it. I think so, yeah. Anything else for the guys? All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Congratulations.